Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the differences between the legacy foundation objects and MDF foundation objects, which are also called as generic objects. We will also discuss about the foundation objects, which are moved from legacy to MDF. I would recommend you to watch this video till the end and people who are new to the topic should practice this in the test instance to get the most benefit out of it. Moreover, please also check the other topics in the playlist. Link for the playlist is provided in the description below. And practice those as well in the test system to enhance your confidence. If you happen to be new, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos. Without further ado, let's get started now. Let's first discuss what are foundation objects and why are they used. Foundation objects are used to set up data that is shared across the entire company. For example, job codes, departments or business units. They are also referred to as foundation tables and are the first objects that are loaded into the system when we configure a new system because some of the lists of values proposed in employment information come from the foundation objects. Foundation objects are used to populate data at the employee level. For example, if a job code is assigned to an employee, the employee's record is then populated with all information based on the attributes of the job code. The foundation objects are connected with each other by associations, which define the relationships between them. There is a separate video where I have discussed associations in detail. I would provide the link for this video in the description below. Please refer that to understand associations in more detail. This relationship is used to filter the list of values in employment information. For example, the list of pay components selectable on an employee's record can be filtered based on the country the employee is associated with. The country of the employee is the country which is defined on the legal entity assigned to the employee. There are some foundation objects which are pre-delivered in the corporate data model. They are location group, geozone, location, pay range, pay grade, pay component, pay component group, frequency, corporate address, dynamic role, dynamic role assignment, workflow configuration, workflow configuration step, workflow step approver, workflow config contributor, workflow config CC role, and event reason. These original foundation objects are referred to as legacy foundation objects. Now let's talk about the migration of the foundation objects to the metadata framework. This is relevant for those customers who were actually using success factors before 2015. The foundation objects were migrated to the metadata framework, but not all the foundation objects are migrated yet. The foundation objects, which are now MDF foundation objects, they are also referred to as generic objects. And the list includes cost center, department, division, business unit, legal entity, legal entity local, job function, pay group, pay calendar, job family, which is currently deprecated, job classification, and job classification local. All these objects are already moved to the metadata framework. The corporate data model is not used to configure the migrated MDF foundation objects. They are configured from the configure object definition and manage data pages in the admin center. These objects are migrated to MDF and can be accessed from configure object definitions. These objects are configured from the configure object definition tool and not from the data models. The objects which are still configured from the data models are called as legacy foundation objects and their wrapper object definitions are available in the configure object definitions tool. Any changes to the configuration of such objects is done in the data model. For example, location. The objects which are not yet moved to MDF, they are geozone, location, location group, pay component, frequency, pay component group, pay grade, pay range, and pay group. The foundation objects which are successfully migrated to the metadata framework are called as the generic objects. The corresponding 
MDFFO is recommended to be used to configure any organizational information. These are employee central MDF objects and not custom MDF objects. Any issues relating to these objects must be raised with the SAP employee central team. So I am currently in configure object definitions and I have this object department which is in front of me. This object is a MDF foundation object because if I have to modify or edit this object I will do that from configure object definitions. In order to maintain data for this particular object I will do this from the manage data tool. The MDF foundation objects are not available in the manage organization pay and job structures. Any foundation object which is configured in the data model can be edited in the manage organization pay and job structure. In order to change the definition of the legacy foundation object, we use the corporate data model. In order to change the data for the legacy foundation object that is done in the manage organization pay and job structures. So in order to understand the difference between the foundation objects and the generic objects, any object which is created using configure object definition, whether it is provided or pre-delivered by SAP or it is a custom object that is created by your company is an MDF foundation object. And in order to maintain the data of these MDF foundation objects, we use the manage data tool. On the other hand, any object that you see in the manage organization pay and job structures, say for example, pay range, pay grade, pay component, pay component group, all these objects are defined or the definition of these objects is available in the corporate data model. They are not created or not defined in the configure object definitions and hence these are not MDF foundation objects or MDF objects. So say for example location. In order to create a new location I can use the manage organization pay and job structures tool but if I have to add a custom field on the location object for example I will not be able to do that from the configure object definition tool. So if I search for location in the configure object definition, I can find a wrapper object which is called as a location wrapper. And this is the evidence that location object is defined in the data models and not in the configure object definitions and hence location object is not an MDF object. Foundation objects can be accessed in three ways. Legacy foundation objects are created and updated in the corporate data model and these objects are managed from admin center, manage organization, pay and job structures. What are legacy foundation objects? The foundation objects which were initially or originally defined in the corporate data models and have not moved from the data model to the MDF. They are called as a legacy foundation object for example location object as I just showed you. MDF foundation objects are created and updated from admin center, configure object definitions and the data of the MDF foundation object is managed from the admin center managed data. Another way to access the foundation objects is through ad hoc reports. Ad hoc reports work based on both the migrated and legacy foundation objects. For advanced reporting, the reports will be migrated when the reports are first invoked after migration. Now let me share with you a couple of differences and similarities between the MDF and the legacy foundation objects. MDF foundation objects and legacy foundation objects are similar in many ways. They both provide foundational data that organizations use to structure their companies. Both provide the ability to store attributes on the object level. These attributes are then referenced or propagated to the employee's job and compensation records. MDF foundation objects and legacy foundation objects are however built on two separate platforms because of which there are different ways of accessing, configuring and managing the objects and the corresponding data. Now let me share with you a couple of key differences between the two object types. 
The very first difference is how we configure these objects. Legacy foundation objects are configured from provisioning in the corporate data model. Or if it is a country specific object, it is configured in the country specific corporate data model. On the other hand, MDF foundation objects are configured from admin center, configure object definitions, which I just showed you. For example, if I go to configure object definition and search for department, or if I have to create my own foundation object, which will be a custom foundation object that I want to use in my company structure. Next is how we manage the object values and data. The data for the legacy foundation object is managed from the admin center, manage organization, pay and job structures. So all these objects that I see here in the manage organization, pay and job structures, these are all my legacy foundation objects. And the data of the MDF foundation object is managed from admin center, manage data. And any foundation object that I see under manage data, for example, department, business unit, all these objects are managed from managed data and these are all MDF foundation objects. Next is how we import the values and data. So the data for the legacy foundation objects is imported from admin center import foundation data. So if you search for import foundation data, in the search for actions and people, you will find this particular tool which actually helps to import all the foundation objects. Here we have the list of all these objects and these are all foundation objects that are available in the system. So the legacy foundation objects still are imported using this tool. On the other hand, the data for the MDF foundation objects is imported from admin center import and export data. So if I search for import and export data and search for actions or people, and search for import data and select the generic object. Say for example, I want to import a department. So here I can prepare my import file and then validate and import it. Next comes how do we export the object values and data. The data for the legacy foundation object is exported from the ad hoc report, report definition type, foundation objects. So in order to export the foundation objects, we do not use the import foundation data tool because this tool is only used for importing the foundation objects. So if you want to export the foundation objects, we will go to reporting, click on new, Select the type of the report you want to create, select table, click on select. And in the single domain, what data would you like to start with? Search for foundation objects and then proceed further to create the report. The data that is pulled from this report is the foundation objects data. Now in order to mask, delete the object values and data, there are different ways that we use to approach the legacy foundation objects and the MDF foundation objects. The data for the legacy foundation objects can be deleted from admin center, manage organization, pay and job structures manually. So in order to delete the data, we'll find the location. Say for example, if I want to delete any particular location, find the relevant object, click on take action and permanently delete record. So in order to delete a single record, a legacy foundation object data record, one by one, we can actually do the same from the manage organization pay and job structures. The foundation data can be imported and the status can be switched from active to inactive. This is another way to actually make those objects inactive. So in order to mass delete the objects or make them inactive, the foundation data can be imported and the status can be changed to inactive. The data of the MDF foundation objects is deleted from admin center. Manage data. If we want to delete just one record, say for example, in this case, the business unit asset management that I see on the screen can be deleted. If I click on the permanent delete entry action 
and if I want to mass delete multiple business units, I can actually go to admin center import and export data, export the data that I want to delete. I can also export only those specific objects that I wish to delete and change the operation column which is used to indicate the data that should be deleted upon import. So let me just download one template. Say for example, I want to delete 10 departments from the system. I would download the template for the department and click on department.csv. And in this template, I can see that there is this column called as operator. This is the first column and it can take three values, delimit, clear or delete. So if I use the delete operation on the file that I have exported on those certain data objects, then this file can actually work as mass deletion of the foundation object department. Another difference between the legacy foundation objects and MDF foundation objects is how the permissions for these objects and data is defined. The permissions for the legacy foundation object is controlled from manage foundation objects and the permissions for the MDF foundation objects is controlled from MDF foundation objects. So if I search for manage permission roles and click on the role, say for example, in this case, let me just show you from the system admin role and click on the permissions. So here in the permissions, if I search for foundation, I have these two options, manage foundation objects and manage foundation object types. These are all the foundation objects that are available in the system, location group, geo zone, location, and the view, create, insert, correct, and delete permissions are defined from the manage foundation object types and manage foundation objects is used to control the different operations that can be taken on the import and the export of the foundation objects. And the option MDF foundation objects is used to control all the foundation objects which are MDF foundation objects. What are MDF foundation objects? Those objects which are defined using the configure object definitions whether they are SAP delivered or custom created are all the MDF foundation objects. So in this case, for example, bank, business unit, cost center, currency exchange rate, these are all MDF foundation objects and the different permissions that can be controlled here are view current, view history, create, insert, correct, delete, import, export, and the different field level permissions can also be controlled here. Say for example, if I select start date here, I can actually select two options either i can hide this particular start date for this particular role for whom i am doing the setting or make it to only read only another important difference between the legacy foundation objects and mdf foundation objects is how the custom fields are defined for these two objects there are only 20 custom fields of each of the data types string date decimal long and number that are allowed for the legacy foundation objects. On the other hand, there is no limit to the number of custom fields that one can create for MDF foundation objects. And in addition to the data types supported for legacy foundation objects, there are additional field types as well that are available for the MDF foundation objects. So if I have to create a custom field on the MDF foundation objects, I have a separate video for that. I will provide the link for that video in the description below. But just to show you quickly, say for example, if I have to create a custom field on the department object, I'll go to take action, make correction and add a custom field here. In addition to these differences, there are vast differences in the supported functionality and capabilities of the two objects. In addition to the differences in maintaining the tables and data, all functionality that is supported for the legacy foundation objects is supported for the MDF foundation objects as well. MDF foundation objects supports associations, field level configurations, pick lists, etc. just like the legacy foundation objects. 
the opposite is however not true all functionality that is supported for mdf objects is not supported for legacy foundation objects mdf objects contain many additional supported capabilities like the support of business rules field level permissions and much more mdf foundation objects and mdf generic objects are created and maintained under the overall mdf platform to add more to it the foundation objects are classified into three categories which are number 1 the organization related objects organization related objects includes legal entity business unit cost center division department geo zone location and location group the second is the job related objects which include job classification and job function and third is the pay related objects which are pay component frequency pay component group pay grade pay range pay group and pay calendar so just to summarize the difference between the foundation objects and the generic objects so on a general note any object defined from configure object definition uses the metadata framework and is called as a generic object the data of the generic object is maintained from the manage data tool generic objects are not maintained from manage organization pay and job structures nor they are defined in the data models if you are using a data model to define an object or manage organization pay and job structure tool to create or modify the data of any object then that object is not an mdf object so if a fo is created in data model or modified from manage organization pay and job structure it's not an mdf object or an mdf foundation object if it is a foundation object it is a legacy foundation object for any legacy foundation object you will find a wrapper object in the configure object definition as i show here or maybe let me search with wrapper which actually tells you that pay range pay grade pay component pay component group location location group all these objects for which you see a wrapper object in the configure object definition the main definition of all these objects is available in the corporate data models and all these objects are foundation objects these are not mdf objects so thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful for you do remember to check my other videos as well link for the playlist is provided in the description below you can also click the link you see on the end screen do comments in the comment section if you are looking for any specific topics in the employee central area see you soon in my next video thank you and bye for now